All right, we're at the MAG auction in uh, Fort McDowell at the Wicopa Casino Resort. Got a big turnout. So we're gonna take a look, if we can find. And we'll start at the beginning over here. Beautiful day, by the way. Great scenery out here in the desert. Custom Ford, so it dropped, nice wheels on it, nice color combination. Ford 100, that would have had a straight six before. Got a nice V8 in there now. Here's a ZR1, we'll talk about that a little later. First year, it's a 90. So you've got the quad cam 32 valve engine designed by Lotus. You can see all the Carfax and the build sheet, window stickers here. Good looking car. Roadrunner, this one's getting ready to go up on the block. Is that 72 or something like that? There you go, the Gazelle. 1929 Mercedes replica. <laughs> like a Z28 clone. This is the bumper. Still a clean car. A very clean pickup. Chevy Cheyenne. That's super clean. This year. Air conditioning. Look at that GMC. A little bit of patina on that. Those are pretty hot these days. Anything four wheel drive. Nice Cadillac. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Purple and yellow. This is the commemorative, but the Indy, yeah, the Indy 500 pace car. Look at those seats. You'd want to keep it just like that. You got the ZF six speed. This looks like a yeah, 98, I was going to think 99, 2000. Here's a Jag convertible XJS with the 12 cylinder. We got the basket weave wheels. They're not worth a lot of money, but they were sure something new. Another pickup truck. Check this thing, I had to back up to get it in the viewfinder. That's a heck of a lift on that. Eighteen thousand dollars in engine rebuild, it says. Just kind of moving quickly, folks. Got a Cutlass Supreme. Very nice. Fourteen thousand original miles. Very original. One owner car. Is that the WS6 package? It is. Nice touch with the build sheet. Not sure what's going on there, but detail guy would finish that up. Yeah, that's a neat car. The little red, little red truck or little red express. Like those pipes out there. A lot of replicas of these. That's okay. Another Mopar here. Great color combination. Got the battery. Looks like it's been relocated to the trunk. I don't think that's original. Got the vinyl top. Some aftermarket gauges. Four speed. Uh, nicely, nicely done actually, pretty clean, 72, it's a 340, 4 speed with a 360 now in it, Arizona car, but here's one I noticed, you never see blue anymore, good looking car, really nice looking car, I'll show you the interior, all original blue interior, automatic, this would be a really, really comfortable car. Very good condition, just at first glance. You know, you can tell by looking at the trim on cars and looking at the, the wheels. Um, even like this area here, the window wipes, they call it. Some of the weather stripping, even along the top here of the frame. If a car's neglected, that's where you're going to find it uh, first. 
Yeah, good looking car. Another Corvette, 20,000 miles. Thirty-two Ford Custom, fiberglass, steel hood, 350, three-speed automatic, nine-inch Ford rear end, disc brakes. Cool-looking car. Pretty cool. There's a little bit of everything here. I'm not sure what direction to point the camera at. Now here's a popular Miata. Those are more popular than ever, actually. 2003. 64,000 miles, this will sell nicely. Those are really holding their value, if not moving up. Oldsmobile, 442, first generation. Wow. Wow. Lots of awards and trophies here. Pretty neat, you don't see those a lot. Another Cadillac. Is that a Cadillac? It's not a Cadillac. We're It's a Lincoln, folks. It's in pretty good shape. Now, here's something you don't see. It's a TR8. So it's got the Buick uh, derived uh, Rover V8, all aluminum, three and a half liter. Look at this Z28. That air cleaner's not stock, but that's okay. Lightweight. Aftermarket seats. Okay, let's take a peek, folks. Oh man, come on, folks. We need to be at Z28. On this amazing car for Aaron and our good friends at JC Supercars. Come on, give us another bit. 8250. I got $8,000 bit. 250. Come on, fellas, get in here. All right, this is a real 80s color here. This teal. Low mileage. 73,000. It's a 97 fire for Trans Am. I'm sure it's an automatic. It is. Tan interior. By the way, the... the uh, Z28 Camaro we just saw in the tent sold for eight thousand. Thank you, folks. So here's a C3 vet. Tired. Cosmetically, at first glance, but that's all right. Could have good bones. And here we go. Coming up next is flight number 162, a 1986 Chevy Silverado pickup. Here we go. Winners. Uh, winners. Winners. Yes, sir. All right. Good what morning. Do you, what do you have to say? I have to say. Beautiful day. Nova? Nova SS. It's a real SS. That's really cool. Got a 350 in it now, which is not original. Oh, this is something unique here. Transporter. So this comes down here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up right now. Look at that. A twin cab VW. Ladies and gentlemen, Rare VW double cab, absolutely show winner. And mouse gray, 1600cc. Wow. Yeah, that'll bring good money. Are there 380 or 560 SL? Those are, we've had them, nice car, but they're a dime a dozen. 
an 89, 560, 128,000 miles. They all have a cracked dash on the top and the wood cracks and all, but it's okay. They're heavy. Passed up a couple Cadillacs here. 70s, early, well, let's see, early 70s, late 60s Eldorado, front wheel drive. What is that? It's a 69. One owner car. Wow. Olive green. Good looking tail lights. That's kind of a neat shot. Look at the tail lights on both of those side by side. And the blue one too. Makes me curious about this one here. It's a slightly different grill. It's a 68. These must be a pair. One owner car. They're both parked next to each other. Look at the interior. Let's see if it's open. Yep, it's open. I like that. Houndstooth. Blue. XJS sedan. I wonder if that's a wrap or paint. Sort of that satin finish. Army green. Cadillac, some later model vehicles too. The touring, as they call it in Europe. Wagon. <laughs> it's like a GT. Mustang. Nice looking Audi with that gray, sort of that battleship gray. Get a better shot here, folks. Got a Chevelle. Clean looking car, air conditioned. Got a Trans Am, some aftermarket wheels here. Probably an automatic, yep, with that gray cloth. Here's a funky Mustang. I forget what they call that body style. It's got a spider on the hood there to kind of add a little something to it. It's a Mustang Grande. Well, it's got a 302, so that'll run well. We missed a couple things here. It's a late model, last generation Thunderbird. Looks good. That looks nice. Oh, my shadows are in the way. So here is a Sunbeam Tiger. Not sure if that's original or not. But that would have a V8. I think originally a 260, then they went to a 289. Decided to take a closer look. It's a 289 British Racing Green, and it is. Uh, it's a Mark One Tiger. Runs and drives excellent. Looks like the hood's open, so I want you to take a look. Yeah, that's really clean. I have to say, this should bring good money. It's a really, really clean car. Go. Got a C8. Totally different look than any Corvette before it. A lot of angles. Of course, the mid engine. Sort of that sculpted look. Can't deny the performance, though. There's a 69 Camaro SS. Got the houndstooth interior. Got a three. Matching numbers, 350. Rotisserie restoration in 04. Muncie four speed. We've got the finned valve covers. It's got headers on it. There's an Aston Martin. Those don't sell for a whole lot, these used Aston Martins. It's an 08. It's because the maintenance is so high on them. 
two and a half high. This is a Hellcat or a Demon? Which one is this? Hellcat. I've driven, in, driven a Hellcat. It's uh, definitely an experience. Another Chevelle. Like this feature, the cowl induction hood. So it brings in fresh, cooler air into the intake. If all is working well. With a nice Corvette. So it's a C6, Z06. All right, we've got a BMW a 530, no, M5. That badge is correct. V10, overdrive, seven speed, auto shift. Looks like it needs a little bit of cosmetic attention, but something like this really um, be surprisingly affordable, at least your initial entry price. Check this thing out. Can't miss that color, and I'm not even sure what it is. I don't uh, claim to even know what it is. It's an ASPT, Florida assigned VIN. It's a 2018. It's a kit. So I'm not sure what they started with. Maybe a Corvette? Yeah, that must be a Corvette. Very fascinated. Here, the auctioneer in the background. <laughs> He's excited. The reserves off. Classic Mustang. Mach 1. Cool looking car. Is that a 428? It might be a 428. Good looking car. We had a green, grabber green Boss 302. Look at this. This thing's been dropped. It's customized. They've got pinstriping on the tires. Nice bed there. Wooden. Nice color. Metal flake in it. Here in the customs. It's pretty cool. Something like this. Get some attention. Something just sold for 12000 a sedan, what is this, 300? Mercedes. It's a S420, 94. Nice looking Jeep Wrangler. Excellent paint and body, four speed manual, four on the floor Camaro. Camaro, Nice convertible. It's out of New York. Looks like a nice new top. That canvas. Looks to be in pretty good shape. I mean, if you're in the Northeast, um, <laughs> compared to a car here in the Southwest, you can buy, I don't know, if you have your choice of two different cars, depending on where they're located, you're probably going to choose the one in the southwest. But this one looks pretty pretty clean. Although, out here, you know, you get all the cracked leather and cracked dashes from all the sun and the heat. So, either take that or your rest. I guess I'd rather take the uh, cracked dash. <laughs> so, here's a Lambo, as they call it. Yeah, at first glance, it looks to be in good shape. 04 Giardo, 60, uh, 31,000 miles. miles. Look at this custom truck. Look at that paint. I'm not sure you can see it. It's like a deep purple burgundy with marble, like a marble effect. Huge wheels. Got that Harlequin print on the seats. Pretty cool. A few other things over here we kind of had to go past. Can't catch everything, folks. Now 37. It's a clean pickup. Those are nice wheels. American racing wheels. Look at that. Look at that. Clean, clean, clean.
We are selling the Camaro. Thousand banana, thirty-seven thousand. 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 Thirty-seven thousand.
this is sold. 98 Trans Am custom built crank WS6. Strong engine. Get out of the way here. Coming back at you, gentlemen. Yeah, this engine sounds really smooth. Not a knock or a tick. I've noticed these have been coming on price wise. The collector edition, 82, one year only. Last year, the C3. It's a three owner car, all original. 48,000 miles, believed to be. Cosmetically, just at first glance, a little bit tired. But, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to be critical, just call it as I see it. But, it's been out here in the west this whole time. You won't have any rust issues. You, you get that kind of cracked rubber dash and whatnot. Crazy. That's what happens in the sun, sunshine of the southwest. But that one's sold. Looks like I'm in the sold section. Although they've well, I'm not even sure if I am. I think they're all mixed up. This is nice. Nice looking. Automatic. Take the Targa off. Tan seats. So that's sold. Here's a Corvair. Let's check that out. Got that rear engine car. And no, I don't think they were unsafe, as Ralph Nader tried to make everyone believe. Kind of a nice looking car. Oh, 5.0 Mustang, 80s and 90s. Mustang GTs are always popular. So if it goes through the auction tent and doesn't sell, I'll tell you here what the high bid was, and then you can still make an offer. So this went to 5,000. Wasn't enough. An 03 CL 230 with the V6, five speed automatic. There's a 500 or 560 SEC. Got the aluminum V8, big heavy car. I think this is probably still for sale. Yep, high bid. looking cars. Here's a Malibu. I'm going to go around the front here. Sold. Here's an Elante. 16.5 is the high bid. It must have really low mileage. I would think that would be enough to, to buy that. 9,100 miles. Yeah, that's why. It does look new, I have to say. 17,000 on this Cadillac, that hard top convertible. Make an offer, folks. Check out the Hummer. This one got to 8,500 here. These are, are a bargain, but of course there'll be a money pit shortly after you buy it. 16,000 was the high bid. It's an uh, 2011 one owner car. They're, you know, loaded. Mileage is 110,000. So, yeah, you're uh, going to have to get ready to write checks every few months for one thing after another, just the way it is. 16,000 on this convertible. XK8, nice driving cars. A little bit cramped for me for some reason. I don't know why, but the seating position is odd. My knee would always hit the ignition. But they're very smooth. 71,000 miles, it's not ter terribly high. Here's a Buick Riata for 7,000 is the high bid. But I can tell it's super clean. Just a once over here on the walk around, it's super clean.
And let's see. Let's look at the poor, lonely British sports car down here. This Triumph Spitfire. It looks like it's sold. It has a trailer. I saw a picture of it earlier. I was curious about it. They put together a nice scene here with the luggage on the rack. Really trying to sell it. They've got this uh, interesting piece here. I've seen this at a show, actually. I don't know what it sold for. Believe it or not, these Buick Roadmaster wagons are kind of uh, catching the attention of millennials. I met the owner of this thing here. It's a three-cylinder, a JDM. I'd never seen one before. It's a really neat vehicle. 10750. Yeah, it might be worth more than that just because of how unique and rare it is. 914, I've had one of those. Like a go-kart. That one sold. Look at this wagon. It's kind of fun. Retro. Packard, is that a straight eight in that? Somebody, my dad, that's uh, a straight six. Looks nice. Looks very nice. Okay, let's check this out. Sounds good, folks. Good running engine in that tr truck. There's a four-door Lincoln. Edsel. I don't know. I'm not sure why everyone gave these a hard time. Doesn't look terrible to me. You know, this one is in pretty decent shape. Plymouth. I love this logo. We had a 32 Plymouth uh, Cabriolet. EV Cabriolet. Love that logo. So this might be a very similar. 31. Okay, that's the PA. But you know what? It drove quite well. Easy to drive with three speed. The uh, four cylinder had quite a bit of torque. So perfectly fine for. You know, uh, around town or off the main highway. Is this one of those traveling kind of salesman coupes here? Roy Royal Club Coupe, inline six, three speed. It's an open. Oh, that's neat. Got the covers on the seats there. Wow, original. Looks like to be all original. Fifty nine Ford Edsel wagon. Wow. In green. That's a real conversation piece. Probably not a lot of money either. Private estate collection. Car runs. Got a C six automatic, so that's a later model Ford automatic. Let's take a look at some of these over here. Yeah, this caught my eye. This is super sharp. This convertible C3, 72 probably. Yep, 72 with a four speed, with AC, power brakes, power steering, black leather, partial tank sticker. Yeah, this is super clean. Good looking car. Original slotted wheels, aftermarket stereo, original gauges. Does not have the deluxe interior. You'd have a carpet on the door panels. You'd have a tilt column, as stock or original. I like these egg crate grills. Different from the uh, prior year where they had the uh, kind of a gill looking, four or five vertical slots. Yeah, this is very nice. A couple other things. Here's a 50 Tri-5 Chevy with a uh, 57, I'm sure. Barn find. Everything's a barn find. Uh, 
Anyway, nice sounding Chevelle. Four door Continental. All original. 430. Big V8. Here's something that's catching on. Saw some of these at Radwood. These pickup trucks, Datsun, Toyota. They're becoming quite popular. Something that's original and clean is hard to come by because these got used pretty hard. So I would imagine that's why values are escalating on the more desirable conditions. Here's a SL, so early 90s, with a 12 cylinder. It's a 600, I believe. SL 694, only 23,000 miles. Wow. Yeah, well, it is clean. Super clean. Even the interior. It's hard to tell, though, through the glass, I know, with the uh, camera. But trust me. <laughs> another C4. There's a custom Buick. It's got the portholes. Sort of a mauve color. Looks pretty cool. This one just sold here. Two-tone C3. Looks like a maybe like an 80. Well, there's a little bit of everything here, folks. This will look great with the red interior, but what do I know? California plates. Very raw machine. Nine eleven. Got those headlamps that people sometimes criti criticize. The twist wheels. So this is early 90s. Or early 2000s, I'm sorry. 2003. It's a turbo 996 body. Automatic. That'll probably hurt the value, but... Anyway, people love 911s. NSX, first generation without the covered headlights. 92, that might be, um, is that the first year? It was 91, maybe even 90, with an automatic. The interior looks brand new. Simpson look there. Alright, this one stopped me in my tracks here, so I don't know what to say about it. Maybe let the video speak for, it, for itself. This is a heck of a custom. It's a 2017 Bronco style, special construction. Pretty wild. Ooh, that's a nice looking Chrysler. Alright, so what do you know about these? What what caught your attention here on this one? Uh, it's just, uh, I think it's a, probably a beam axle. I'd have to look to see. A beam axle. So, what does that mean? Well, it's got a, an I beam. Drop forged action for the front. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Sturdy. Yeah. Very sturdy. Very good. So, what else do you know about these? What about the engine and transmission? Well, the engine's a uh, six cylinder, probably has an updraft carburetor. And 
updrafts are a little critical to start because uh, when you push the throttle, the gasoline doesn't squirt into the carburetor. It has to be sucked up. All right. So it, uh, you have to get the hang of it. It's tricky. The choke has got to be just right to get started. Got the mirrors there. It's got a spotlight here. Reflecting mirrors here are very similar to the prisms that they use in a lighthouse. Right. It does look like a lighthouse. Alright. Well, we'll keep an eye on this one. Looks like something out of MASH. 1962. Ford Mutt Military. Look at this thing. Boy, a 250. High boy, F250. Four, uh, rare, rare factory 4x4. It's got a 390 in it with a 4 speed. Yeah, that's pretty unusual. Look at this. 33 Plymouth Custom. It's got air conditioning. It's got a blower on it. Yeah, it's got air conditioning. Yeah, it's a blower. Yeah, you got your rumble seat. With uh, no seat though. There's no seat in it. No, they stripped it. <laughs> All steel, coupe convertible. Shaved handles, so some sort of electric door pop. Yep, this, automatic. This is a vacuum. Windshield wiper. This is your windshield wiper here? Yeah. Vacuum. Vacuum operated? Yeah, see the hose? Yeah, I see it. Yep. It works off the manifold. Look at these mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Oldsmobile? Yeah. yeah, it's an Olds. So this would have been 55, something like that. Let's see. Yeah, 55, Super 88. They've got a four speed in it, uh, automatic. Yeah, more drivable. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, hard to fault this. Nice color combination, wide white walls. Yeah, that's a good one. Love that jet age hood ornament there. I mean, a few flaws here and there, but who's looking? Got some pickups here. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not pickups. Well, one pickup, but what's the name? Uh, Blazer, that's what I'm looking for. I think that's a Blazer. Galaxy, convertible. Those are popular. Probably got a 390. Oh, a 352 to a 390, yep. I remember that. He liked it. He liked it. I drove it home. Yeah, you drove it from Washington State. I drove it home. No trouble? No, but uh, it had a bad wheel bearing everywhere. Yeah, you could hear it? Yeah. 
Right. So we noticed the Chrysler convertible. So you think it's a rare car? They didn't make many of these? Uh, I mean, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen one. That's why I'm saying they're rare. I mean, maybe I have, but 63 with the 383, push button automatic, mostly original. Mostly original paint. That's it. Well, they meant paint, of course. Power windows, power brakes, steering, new tires. See if it's open. They usually allow you to look. Yeah, that's uh, very clean. Look at this custom Continental here. This is pretty wild. Oh, wow. Uh, all right, got a naked lady there on the glove box. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this will be a tough resale, that's for sure. <laughs> Convertible Mustang, nice looking. Here's an E-Type with the uh, 2 plus 2 covered headlights, 68. It's got the triple Webers. Well, he's got a roll bar and modified. Got the racing fuel cap here, straight down. Yeah, that's a neat car. Got the side exhaust, wires, knockoffs, red interior, racing belts. GTO, this might be the first year. Or wait a minute. Virtual GTO. Let's take a look here. 64, it is the first year. So, yeah, it's a GTO recreation. That's what kind of gave me pause. I'm, I wasn't sure if they made a convertible GTO. Still a nice car. What is this one here? What's unique Not about really, it? Not really, because it's four doors, but they're a good car. In fact, they have the uh, V8 engine. And they use, they use this engine in the fire department. Oh, yeah? The fire trucks. And they use it for years and years and years. Way up until, I think, maybe the 70s. All right. Using the Pierce Arrow engine. Well, I mean... I don't know if I've ever seen more than a handful of Pierce Arrows at any event. Yeah, it's kind of a treat to see that. All right, this was worth a quick shot here. This Impala, this beautiful blue, shared by the Corvette, I think they call it Le Mans Blue, depending on the year. He's got aftermarket wheels on it, which uh, seem to look okay. Good-looking interior. Nice-looking top, but look at that. It's got a big block, Chevy 454, which makes sense. This is a, a big car, big, heavy car, but looks nice. Now, this is worth a look, 56 T-Bird. Multiple show winners showing the trophies. Let's get a shot here. Sorry for the camera work, but it sounded good. So, what about these? Anything special about the 56? Well, yeah, the 56 the first year they. They put the tank here. Okay. 55 doesn't have that. For the air? The air vent? Yeah. 
for the interior. Right. And then uh, the Continental kit. That, that started in 56, the Continental kit? Or could you get that in 55? Yeah. Gives you more truck space. Well, this is a very nice car. That much is uh, for sure. Gonna take a peek. Yep, that's it. That's what it looks like. Thank you. Now five. Nope. It's original, but it needs a little detail work. Fair warning. 58 